Sometimes it seems impossible, but parents, do you know the sites your kids are looking at online? Well, and who they're talking to on the other side. Tonight, we take you undercover and show you where predators are lurking. News 6's Adriana Ivashinsky got an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at what's being done to stop them. Detectives tell me the most dangerous thing you can do is give your child unsupervised, unlimited access on their phone and on their tablet or their online games. You see, predators know there's always a chance they'll get caught, but there's also a chance they won't, and it's a risk they're willing to take. Progressively get your team better. While 14-year-old Layton was playing his Xbox, <laughs> undercover officers were Put taking down men. Get out the door now. Put your hands up. Accused of the unthinkable. You're under arrest. What? Traveling to meet a minor for sex. Again, that's their makeup. Don't move. That's what makes them tick. Get your hands up. That's the excitement, the allure. <laughs> they don't want to be with an adult. They want to be with a child. And while kids like Layton don't think predators will ever get to them, they're wrong. These undercover agents made contact with more than 50 people online trying to contact a minor for sex on sites your kids visit every day. Are they going to things like Fortnite? Absolutely. Fortnite, Snapchat, Instagram, and Meetup. You name it, child predators are likely on it. And undercover officers can't catch all of them. We can't do it all. We need the parents to step up and monitor what's going on. Parents like Tom and Cheryl trust their son not to talk to strangers online or on the phone. But how can anyone know for sure? Before you know it, it's, it's a fully naked picture. We now brought in cyber expert Chris Hadnagy. He started the Innocent Lives Foundation to help weed out the bad guys and help parents protect their kids. I've worked on a couple cases where groomers were using Instagram and sites like this. He showed them what is really lurking on the deep dark web and ways parents can prevent their kids from becoming victims. A lot of them, I'll be upfront, are unpopular. Number one is communicating the dangers to your kids and then using a monitoring app on your kid's computer, tablet, and phone. One site we found is Custodio, which can be used on all devices. It helps track which websites your kids are on and can't be uninstalled unless you know the password. Life360 is also a popular choice, but it only keeps track of where your kid is going not what they're doing online. You're not monitoring your kids, someone else on the internet is, and they have other intentions than you do. And that's enough to make Tom and Cheryl anxious enough to take action. Yeah, oh no, two apps will go on both of our phones. Then there are several parental control apps out there for your phone and your tablet. Some are free, others cost less than $10 a month. For a list of the top 10 we found, head to clickorlando.com. Adriana Ivashinsky, News 6.